What's up guys? Got another video here for you. Really working hard on trying to uh, crank out these videos here for you guys. I really appreciate all the support and all the comments and uh, everybody that has been tuning into these videos. It really means a hell of a lot to me and uh, I just again thank, cannot thank you guys enough for this. And uh, you know, I just love sharing my love for vintage gear and vintage guitars and guitar in general for all the people out there. And uh, I'm just really appreciating all the love and uh, all the support that you guys have been giving me. So I got another one here for you. This is my 1966 Fender Princeton Reverb Amp. This is the ultimate grab and go guitar amp that you can buy. There is nothing better in my opinion. You can turn it up to three and four. You know, it's a very usable club amp, very low volume. Um, but it can also get rather loud, you know. Um, this amp will crank up, man. I mean, it's just the perfect grab-and-go amp. As I say, it's very small in size. It um, takes pedals really well. They're just very flexible. And even the reverb and the trem on these amps are just so musical. It's just really a beautiful amp. I just absolutely love these uh, 60s Princeton reverbs. You cannot go wrong with these. And I use this amp all the time, like I say, for grab and go style gigs where, you know, I don't want to be bringing a bunch of stuff. I don't want to break my back hauling a 412 cabinet or something ridiculous. I mean, you know, I obviously love 412 cabinets. They sound amazing, but, you know, it can just be kind of a little bit much when you're bringing a 412 cabinet and a 100 watt head um, to just some little club or something like this. You know, you don't want to be bringing a big setup for a gig like that. And honestly, you throw a mic on these prints and reverbs. I mean, you could do massive gigs with these. And honestly, I have done those gigs um, with these Princeton reverbs or deluxe reverb or whatever. But there is something about these Princetons and just the way that it's a smaller cabinet, the way that they sound just with the 10 inch speaker, the way that they sit in a mix, it just really works well. And there's just something really special with these amps. And um, I just really love these. And you can see here, it's very this is a very clean example considering this is from 1966 and um on this example there's all original uh, electronics original transformers and, and everything and even the original foot switch here that controls the tremolo and the reverb and um just so musical um all the way around you know these amps just really work well and it's incredibly lightweight um like I say, it's just the ultimate grab and go amp. And um, I just really, really love these amps. And these Blackface Fender amps are just really something special. So let's go take a listen to this up in the studio and see what you all think. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and like this video. All the support, like I was saying, it really means a lot to me, guys. And, um, you know, just. I'm going to keep this content coming. I'm going to keep going with this and uh, I'm going to keep pumping out these videos for you guys. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying this and you're really getting something out of this. So please leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Hey guys. So before we take a listen to this Princeton reverb here, just wanted to make a couple pointers here. This amp has a warehouse speaker. It has this uh, 75 watt It's a 10 inch eight ohm speaker really happy with the speaker it seems to really uh crank and uh really just kind of gives the amp a little bit more mid-range and just works really well with this amp i've got to say i'm i'm incredibly happy with it at the moment and um i do actually have the original speaker but i just have that stashed away in a box and uh you know i could always drop it back in there but honestly i'm just so happy with the speaker at the moment that i'm just gonna leave it as is so just wanted to make a couple other pointers with these vintage fender amps now there's several ways to date these amps and uh, just wanted to show you all this that you can date the amp by the chassis code <clears throat> so this chassis code here is a08725 that number would date it to 1965 then there's also the tube chart if this is actually intact on your amp um you know this one is obviously here and you'll see those two letters there that pe and pe would date this amp to be P being 1966 and E being May. So May of 1966 on that tube chart code there. And then I'm just gonna flip the amp up here and I'm gonna show you all the transformers and how you can actually uh, date those.
Okay guys, so I got the amp flipped here and I'm just gonna show you all the transformer codes here. That transformer there, which is the power transformer, is 606608. Now, those first three numbers, you're always going to see on an original transformer with these Fender amps, it's always gonna be 606. And then the last three numbers, 608, would date this amp to be, the first number would be the year, so that's 1966. And the last two numbers would be the week of the year. So that is 1966, the eighth week of 1966 is when this power transformer was made. Then we come on over to the output transformer. And bear with me, guys, it's a little hard to get the uh, code in there. Um, I'm filming this on an iPhone, and obviously it's, it's uh, kind of a hard shot to get here. But uh, that code there is 601, which, like I say, the, tra the output transformer and the choke and the power transformer are all going to be within a few months of each other or weeks or whatever it is. So it's all going to be kind of within that range you're going to see if it's original. So that is an original output transformer there. And then the choke here is ending in 605, dating that to be an original transformer as well there. Or sorry, not transformer, the choke there. And like I say, guys, this is absolutely crucial when you're looking at these vintage Fender amps and any vintage amp in general. Um, I just would say that those three components are really what makes these, amp, these amps very special. And uh, really without those transformers and the original choke and whatnot, um, it's just not the same amp. So just wanted to make those pointers to you guys and uh, hopefully you guys learned something new with this. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a listen to this now. All right guys, so we're back here with the Princeton Reverb. Got it back up here in the studio. Just running my 1964 Gibson SG Standard. As I've said in previous videos, I absolutely love this guitar. If you haven't checked out my other videos, please go and do so like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. Let me know what you all think. And I'm just running into this pedal board here. I just have a Nobles ODR-1, that's a Ram rebranded Nobles, and that's still exactly the same as the original one, and just a little bit of delay with the M9. And uh, I'm gonna turn on the tremolo and the reverb on the Princeton reverb so y'all can take a listen to that. And leave a comment, let me know what you all think. Enjoy. Thank you. 